Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about male reproductive system. So let's draw the male reproductive system first. Okay, so this one is a very short representation of the male reproductive system and the main parts of the reproductive system are this one, this is called testes, testes is an endocrine uh, gland also that produces testosterone hormone which is responsible for the development of the secondary sexual characteristics like uh, deepening of the voice then underarm air hairs pubic hairs beard mustache everything in males and testes also produce male gametes called sperms this long pipe that originates from the testis is called vas deferens then here is a small gland called seminal vesicle this one is a seminal vesicle then this duct which starts from the seminal vesicle till here so the starting point of the duct from here till here this is called ejaculatory duct this is urinary bladder these are ureters which come from the kidney we have two ureters that come from the kidney this is bladder this this pipe which collects or with this duct which actually collects the urine is called urethra this gland is prostrate this duct which is actually the joining of ejac ejaculatory duct and urethra this common duct is called urinogenital tract or duct then this is cooper's gland then finally this urinogenital tract goes in a muscular organ called 
penis. Okay, now let us understand the functions of all these. So what happens is the sperms they are produced in the testis and the sperm production in males starts in during puberty. So during after the age of about uh, 14 years the testis they start producing sperms so these sperms they travel along vas deferens the vas deferens only collects the sperms and passes ahead then this seminal vesicle produces a liquid called semen this semen gets added up with the sperms and then from here this vas deferens becomes ejaculatory duct vas deferens is approximately 30 centimeters in length 30 centimeter and you can call this ejaculatory duct a part of a vas deferens then the sperm goes like this ahead and then this prostrate gland it actually secretes an alkaline liquid this alkaline liquid is added to the semen and sperms so that when the semen and the sperms when they travel through the vagina of the female reproductive system they don't die over there due to the acidic content so in female reproductive system in vagina uh, it's quite acidic in nature so this alkaline liquid helps these semen to travel through the vagina now this prostrate gland actually increases in the size as we grow old and uh, in the old people this prostrate swells up and it actually compresses this urethra so this urethra actually com gets compressed and the urine flow is obstructed so this is a common problem in males once we get old and now what happens is this urethra and ejaculatory duct they join together inside prostate gland and the common tube that carries both urine and sperm is called urinogenital tract so this urinogenital tract is just the extension of the the urethra and then when the sperms and the semen when uh, it travels ahead there is a small cooper's gland on the way this cooper's gland also produces an alkaline liquid that gets added up in the, the semen to counteract the effect of the urine because our urine is also acidic so the sperms they die due to the acidic content of the urine so this alkaline liquid helps or protects them from the acidic nature of the urine then the semen and the sperms they go out of the muscular uh, uh, penis from the males and one more important thing is uh, that the this part is the muscular bag that is called scrotum this scrotum and the testis are actually located just outside the body and this scrotum is a muscular bag and that allows the the testis to to be at quite lower temperature than our body temperature so the testis are supposed to be kept at 2 to 3 degree uh, lesser than the body temperature that's why uh, during the during the winters these testes they actually go they they contract and they go towards our body to uh, get warmth from the from the body as the outside temperature is quite low so to brief up 
from the testes the semen sorry the sperms that are the male reproductive gametes that are produced only after puberty they travel ahead in vas deferens which is a long tube then from there the seminal vesicle adds up the sperms sorry the semen the whitish liquid and the combination of the semen as well as the sperms they pass ahead in the ejaculatory duct there inside the prostate gland the urethra and the ejaculatory duct they meet together finally it is called a common duct called ure urinogenital tract then when it goes ahead the cooper's gland adds the alkaline liquid which uh, counter acts the acidic nature of the the urine and finally the uh, the semen as well as the sperms they are pushed out of the body through a muscular organ called penis